All right. Uh, right now I'm running Fedora 15 uh, Gnome Shell, and uh, I've been using it for like what two days now, and it's really good. I actually like it. It's very very quick, very stable. And um, anyways, uh, one of the issues I had with Gnome Shell for the past maybe what two weeks, three weeks is uh, installing themes and stuff. I would, I can never I guess wrap my brain around how actually how to do it, because because if you think about it, there's two sets of themes, right? There's your shell theme and there's your window management theme. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install them. So uh, I have some themes in here. You know, it's a mixture of both. Let me see. Uh, see how this one says GNOME Shell? So that's actually a shell theme for your, your shell, like your uh, the overlay. Like when you go up here to your top left, how, you know, this little uh, dark menus pop out, that's the shell, right? And then, let me uh, go back. What's one? Is this a... Nope, that's another shell. Here we go. And this is for your file management. This is your, your, your windows and borders and stuff, right? It has to say GTK3. So that's going to be your, your file management theme. So uh, I'm going to be showing you how to install this stuff. And you probably notice I have uh, icons on my desktop. I guess I got to sp send a special thanks to uh, Elder Snake who actually uh, made a cool little video about it because for the past few weeks I was... It was very annoying not to not to be able to have a uh, right-click support and uh, have some crappy little icons on the top left. So he actually figured out a way to, to remove it. So uh, thanks. But anyways, let me uh, move on. All right. So I'm gonna get these uh, these themes here. Right. I'm just gonna copy them. Go into my home directory. And if you don't have this folder, it's called dot themes. So if you don't have it, just make it Control H dot themes right now uh, paste all the themes in there all your shells and, and your GTK3 themes and um, now I gotta show something else to you the default package manager is cool but uh, this one's called uh, yum X or X yum um, I prefer this one it seems to it seems to, to find the packages a little bit easier than the other one right so first thing you need to do is install this gnome tweak tool get that now install uh now just type a gnome shell oops all right takes a couple seconds and here's a bunch of extensions and just be kind of careful don't 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 overdo it i had my desktop crash once already but um I believe the one you're looking for is the one that says uh, let's user select custom theme for shell right here so install that one now uh, right now now that I have everything installed uh, what I need to do is log out log back in because if, if I were to do this now with my screen recorder it's going to crash my desktop so I've got to stop right now alright so we'll be back in a second all right, so I'll log back in. Let me uh, launch that uh, GNOME tweak tool real quick. Hold on one second. There it is. And it should work. You click on shell, and you have this little uh, tabs here, so there's your, little, your shell themes. So I'm gonna select the uh, elementary. And there you go. Now you have the elementary shell going on. See? But see, now that's the shell. So now you got to change your, your uh, system theme, I guess, your, your window borders and stuff. So I believe it's Windows, current theme. And I believe this is going to be your border. So let me uh, try something else, something weird. Glossy, I guess. Try that. And interface. This is going to be your actual window itself, you know, like your what you see in the middle. So let's uh, change that to something else, like this dark one, right? Now uh, I'm going to close this off. I said it changed already. And let me open my home folder again. Oh, it's already open. Well, the thing about it is, like, see how the window border hasn't changed? You have to hold Alt, then F2, hit R. To reload it. Hopefully, it doesn't crash my system. But there it goes. Now you can see the window border changed. So, also you can change your icons as well. So just you know, download whatever whatever icon set you like. 
and uh, hold control, press H, dot icons. And I already installed a few, the Fenza or Fianza, what do you call it? And the cool thing about this this particular set, there's an install script. So when you install it, it'll it'll be tailor made to your distro. Like if you use Fedora or OpenSUSE or Ubuntu, so I, I recommend that one if you like. But that's pretty much it. It's, it's not too difficult, you know what I mean? It's I found it to be a little bit easier on Fedora than OpenSUSE. For OpenSUSE, I was having a really hard time with it. And if you come across any scripts, right? That uh, like the script I'm using now, if you notice, I have an icon on my top left of the Fedora logo, and I move the clock to the to the far right. Um, to install scripts, just to extract the script and install it in your dot local loco uh, directory. Dot lo, there it is. Share, and go to uh, GNOME shell extensions, and here's a couple right here. So just just drag and drop them into there. Hold hold Alt, uh, press F2, and type R. Hit enter and it should reload, and your your script should be uh, not script, but uh, extension should be working. So, anyways, so that's that. So uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. See you later.